Hey everyone, Sirloina Beef here, and thank you for joining me today on Court Farm. Uh, last video, we got a bit done there getting the linseed harvested for that contract, even though it went pretty late into the night. And we got uh, Field 56 over there seeded with our rye. Now, uh, let me get away from the noisy chickens here. Uh, now, we need to go ahead and get 57 seeded. I know we've been meaning to do it here for multiple episodes, but we just keep seem to be running out of time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started on that. However, you know, I do think this uh, cedar here is a bit underpowered for that field because of the size of it. It would take uh, forever and I don't want to keep taking all of our time up here. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, trade this in here for a replacement. So let me go ahead and get up to the shop and get a see if I can find a new cedar for us so I'll be right back with you when I get that Alright everyone, and from what it looks like they had, uh, it was within our budget here, uh, is this Lemkin here, so that's what I picked up for us now. It was a little bit more than we could afford to purchase it outright, so I've just got at least, because we're just doing the one field here, um, so it's not going to take that long. Uh, we can just get this seeded real quick and get it returned, and, uh, you know, we can always look into buying a cedar after we get a little bit more established here so let me get this back to the farm and get we'll i'll bring you back when we get our seeding started all right and here we are back at the farm let's go ahead and get on over to our field so we can get this seeding started let's see i believe we can get through yep right here Turn our beacons on. And let's see. I know I had originally said that we were going to get some canola in here. But let me see. Because I know we're in September now. What do we have for seeding options here? What can we get? Okay, so we have our wheat barley. Okay, so there's the canola. We can still get that seeded in. Uh, but we can do... Also do linseed. We already did the rye. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some canola underground. We're going to stick with the, the original plan there. Let's get this unfolded here. Right. Let's get to seeding. Right, sure is nice and quiet in the inside here, isn't it? Alright. Alright. 
So yeah, this is this is working out a lot better than the uh, than that uh, that jet seater was. It's going it has a higher speed rate here. We're also getting some fertilizer put in the ground, which we are going to have to do something about field 56 uh, because it did, didn't get fertilized like this one is. But we'll, we'll get that taken care of. Uh, I think for the next part of the episode, though, um, what uh, what else I've also been meaning to do is we we uh, need to get some mowing done so we can look into getting the cows that I had mentioned in the beginning of the series so definitely want to I know we have field uh, what is it I think it's yeah 54 over there um, it's been sitting this whole time that we need that we need to get mowed up so we can get some some hay and get some uh, probably some grass silage going on because we don't have uh, any kind of forage harvesters or anything like that uh this early yet so we're gonna we're gonna get some, some grass mode here we can get that bailed up and get some get some hay going and we can look into getting some cows here soon too uh which is another reason why i went ahead and leased this uh lemkin cedar as well because i know we're gonna we're gonna have to put out some money before we start seeing some money come in so i figured it would be best to do that so we'd have a little bit extra but i got a couple headlands in here um we're gonna start going back and forth here in a second let me get this uh taken care of and finished up and i'll bring you back up uh when we've got the when we've got the whole field taken care of all right and here we are finishing up the last little bit of this and you know i think i might have committed the blunder of the year here. This is going to be a, a fun one for everyone. So remember those soil maps uh, that we took? I think it was in the fourth episode. Well, I never sent them off. <laughs> so they never got analyzed. So luckily, I picked up... Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I picked up on that only after we finished about, you know, half the field. <laughs> but at least we, I did get them sent off and I did get them back. So um, we have the that taken care of now. As you can see, it's a little bit more green now in, in some of the areas here. You can see it up, up uh, over on that side of the field the most here. But yeah, <laughs> I couldn't believe I forgot that. I was like, you know, something doesn't seem right with this. And uh, sure enough, my instincts were right. A little too late, but better late than never, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and knock this out. That field's already seeded. We still need to run some fertilizer on it, but it's already seeded. So this is the only thing the seeder was here for. So we're going to go ahead and get that emptied out here and get that sent back to the dealerships since we're only leasing it and we don't want to run the charges up for that lease too high but we do want to get our seed and fertilizer out of it first before we send it back so let's get back to the farm and get that unloaded first grab these spots here too that I missed real quick okay there we go Right, let's see where can we unload this you know I think I'll just unload them right here uh, yep. there we go perfect all right and we'll 
get that returned here. All done with that. Now let's go ahead and put the track drop. And while we were uh, getting that field seated there, I did uh, hire a worker for a little bit because I had to run up to the store. And I grabbed an additional mower because I know we had the one mower. Um, but I was really seeing the size of field 54 there and figured that it was just going to be too big for just a side mower. So I went ahead and grabbed the front one as well, which I have that set on the vent. And I'll show you that right now. Okay. There we go. So I got the SIP mower here to go on the front to match the one on the back there. So we got the 0300s. So let's go ahead and jump in this and we will uh, get that get that field mode and hopefully bailed as well. All right, so let's see how I actually never been to this field before. I believe it's actually this way. Uh oh, what am I getting stuck on? Nothing. I just don't know how to drive. Oh, no, you know, I remember which way it is now. I remember the way. Or at least one of the ways. I, I know this field has a couple ways into it. But I think this route is the easiest. It definitely will be for the baler when we have to come through here with the baler and uh, the low loader to get it to get the bales loaded up. Bumpy ride. Should be right through here. Yep, there it is. All right. Oh, a little bit of a muddy entrance. That's okay. All right. And let's take a look. Yeah ready to harvest expected oh only 60 percent yield well something's better than nothing and i'm hoping what we can go ahead and do is get this field wrapped up or uh bailed up rather and then get some of those bales wrapped so then we can hopefully get a little bit of income uh from that and then save the the rest for uh, the cows when we move on to the cows here and hopefully within the next couple episodes, but we'll see where it's at uh, But that's enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and Get these unfolded here This way around get the mower lined up here with this And away we go. Slid a little bit of air from that mud. It does look like it's putting out a pretty good yield, though, so that yeah, doesn't seem too bad.
Right, I now that I got the headland done, let me go ahead and get the rest of this field mode up and I will bring you right back as soon as we've gotten that taken care of. All right, and here we go, making the last couple passes here. Got that all mowed up quite nice. Now, one thing uh, I just realized, so we are going to have to find ourselves a wind rower so we can get this all uh, wind rowed together here so we can get that uh, picked up with the baler. Because even though I'm sure we wouldn't have any issue just bailing it like this, I think we can all agree that that is not an ideal way to bale your grass after you've mowed it. So we're going to go ahead and get this put back up in the in the shop there and grab ourselves a wind rower. All right, and we're back uh, from the store here. Just pulled in, uh, picked up. Uh, this nice uh, Vermeer R2800, it looks like. Uh, seemed to be like the most uh, financially uh, a reasonable one to get out of the bunch. So, and it's got a pretty good width on it and not too crazy long or anything like that to be able to fit in some of these narrow more narrow areas here so let's go ahead and get this on into the field here so we can get this wind road up after we give it a butt uh, mud bath here Yeah, that's a pretty good width. Look at that. Not bad at all. Nope, don't want to hit the fence. line here should be good I eh, missed a little bit but not too much all right well let me go ahead and get the rest of this field uh, road up here and I'll bring you back with the baler Right, and here we go, Ben. Uh, rowing up the last little bit here. Get this finished off and get this wind roar returned back to the store. And grab our baler. And I know we did it on the uh, Lamborghini last time, but. I did feel kind of weird about because I got the Fent Baylor to kind of go with the Fent tractor here. So we're going to go ahead and try it on this one to see if it works and if we can get it done with that. And I'm actually going to try and go through this way. It's not parking the mud. Right, and I'll bring you back when we have the baler. 
All right, we just got out here with the baler. Let's go ahead. Let's get that lowered. Uh, let's see. Oh, yep, got to get it unfolded. And off we go. Let's see. That seems to be pulling it just fine. And once we get this uphill uh, part done, then we'll be going side to side there. It won't be that bad at all. Right, and that about wraps it up here for the bales. Just got to finish up a couple little mist areas here from the wind rower. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, yeah, we got the uh, whole field bailed up here. And I was actually really surprised how many we got because these are the, uh, the larger Heston bales. So these bales are like over 9,000 liters per bale so I was kind of amazed at how many we got from this this field here because even though it's not you know small by any means it's also neither a, a huge field but it definitely gave some good results on the, the yield there so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of this field here let's turn that off so it's a little bit quieter i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of this field and get that taken care of and in the next episode we will get these picked up and put away possibly wrapped i haven't decided yet so let me know in the comments uh I uh, thank you very much for um, taking your time to watch my video today, and uh, please feel free to join the herd by liking and subscribing. Uh, it would definitely help me out, you know, get uh, get this channel up and running and and share some more content here. You know, I really want to make some some good content for y'all. So again, all feedback is is greatly appreciated. But yeah, let me know what you'd like to see, and I will catch you in the next video. Have a great night. Bye-bye.